Hello everyone. So I don't know if you remembered when I got these um, three US set Eagle padlocks in. Um, but these two were joined together at the shackle. And I tried picking and I tried picking them and I couldn't seem to get them. I even tried a core shim, I mean a shackle shim. But if you look, um, let's see if I can get this guy to focus properly focus hmm. doesn't want to do it maybe it's because it's not enough light but there's a little gap let's see if we can get it over here now nope I'm too close anyways there's a little gap in the in the pawl there that uh, when you rotate your shim around and the shackles tolerances are pretty tight anyway when you rotate the shackle around, the shim, I mean the shim around, it it, uh, it gets hung up. So, I couldn't, I couldn't single pin pick these things. I tried and tried and I don't know what there is about it, but I couldn't get them. And finally, it dawned on me, break out the old pick gun. And that's how I got these guys open. So, I haven't opened this one yet. And I'm just going to show you what I did to the other ones and... I don't know if this one's going to open the same way, but it probably should. So I just used uh, top of the keyway tension. Fall down, you too. And uh, this is a really cheap Chinese uh, pick gun. Which, if you're going to go for pick guns, I would recommend the cheap ones. Because uh, a lot of people buy the brand new, you know, uh, like the Sparrows Double Snap, which is the one I'd like to have. But it'll wind up just like that Klom electric uh, snap gun gun I got over there. Sitting around gathering dust, rarely ever used. Um, there are occasions when you want to use a gun or a pick gun. And in my case, it was... Oops. It was... I wanted to get those two apart because uh, you can't set them up right with the shackles stored like that. You can't really clean them uh if you want to pick them you got to grab you're lugging two around instead of one it was really annoying i don't mind doing that when i uh have a bunch of locks that i know i can open but when you've got a lock that you bought like that it's pretty annoying and this one you got to get it just right in there you got to go back i think there's five pins Makes a lot of noise. This was putting up a pretty good bite. I got them looking quicker than that. I don't know why this, oh. <laughs> the wire will bend on this pick gun. But it doesn't seem to break. You just <laughs> bend it back in place. Um, and like I said, it only cost me like $7, 6 $7. So... Um, I'd recommend them just for something to have in case you run into a situation where you got to... Now, see, this guy doesn't want to open. Because I got those other two open much quicker than this one. Well, I haven't even gotten this one open. And this one, the core doesn't move up. I know the shackle come down. It's kind of tight. Maybe I need to shoot some lube in there or throw some graphite in and have things go everywhere so i still got one to mess with one eagle putting up a fight but i broke the two up that were joined together and basically this is how i did it but uh of course we're on camera and you know how that goes You never can tell if the lock is, if you don't have a key. Woo! There goes up my tension wrench. Anyway, I was basically going to show you how it works, but, uh, oh, let's sit there. Let's try this guy again. Lock him back up and pop him back open. I was wondering if there was anything wrong with these uh, locks because uh, I couldn't really get the bottom of the keyway tension on them.
<laughs> there we go. Got him. So that's how I got that open, basically, was snapping the crap out of it. <clears throat> I'm going to work on this guy. I'll spare you some <laughs> your ears of all the snapping and stuff. I know some people use headsets, and that gets pretty loud. It's not as loud as an electric pit gun, though. That's even louder. But there you go. That's what I did. It's it's not really cheating um, because uh, I wanted these two apart. You know, when you've got when you've got them joined like this together, you know, and you can't get either one apart, it's a pain in the ass. So now I've got them apart. There you go. Like I said, don't forget your lowly little um, snap gun. Can come in handy sometimes, especially like um, situations where you've got this unholy matrimony going on and you want to break it up.